So only a few years ago, fully customizing your watch was really not an option. Now there are a few brands out there where you can actually go to their website and fully customize your watch. Full Gear are a brand that actually fully customize your watch, but also sort of specialize in tritium tubes. So you can actually choose the different colors of tritium that you want in the actual tube. So you could choose that for your dial and for your hands. Um, and I actually went to their website and I customized this watch. And currently they only offer Pilot's watches, but I, I'm not sure if they'll actually offer other style watches in the future, but currently they offer Pilot's watches and they are 200 meters of water resistance, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it comes in a cardboard box, magnetic enclosure. Uh, inside, when your watch is delivered, it just gives you a little bit of information on some of the styling uh, of the watch itself, some of the inspiration behind it, obviously uh, gauges from uh, you know cockpits and stuff like that. And then it gives you a card here, uh, just says on the back side of the card, it gives you warranty information. You're getting two years of warranty with this watch. This is an automatic version. They offer quartz versions as well. And then it gives you information on the tritium tubes, QR code just for information on the watch if you need further information. And then of course, here is the watch. So I mentioned you get to fully customize this watch. I actually chose this dial. It is a sand textured dial in a gray color. And I also chose the actual case on this watch as well. So the case itself, you can get it in stainless steel or you can get it in PVD coated stainless steel. I chose the PVD coated stainless steel. I chose this dial, it gets T25s in them and it actually says that they're above the six o'clock index. Uh, so this gets tritium tubes. Uh, I chose all of the colors of the tritium tubes. So you get to choose two different colors for the dial, I believe two different colors, it might be three. And then you get to choose the colors on the hour and minute hand and then you get to choose a separate color for the second hand. You also get to choose the hands themselves. You get to choose the style of hand. You get to choose the color. You get to choose the color on the second hand that could be different from the hour and minutes as well. So there's a lot of customizable options for this watch. There are different cases. There are different dials. These are the two that I chose. As I mentioned, there are definitely a lot of other options as well. Uh, a little bit of a interesting sort of thing that they offer as well is the name right there at the uh, below the 12 o'clock, I put Watch Chris because that's the name of my channel. So I decided to go with Watch Chris, uh, but you could put pretty much anything there or put nothing there. And it actually matches the rest of the printing on the dial. So it's in a black font uh, and those fonts and the, and the printing on the dial, the crosshair, everything really does match very well. So it doesn't look different from anything else that's actually printed on the dial, which I like. And I'll do a close up of that so you can see what I'm talking about. You get a screwing crown and you get a screwing case back you get to choose whether or not you want a display case back for the automatic version. Now the automatic version, I believe if you choose the display case back and do not put a photo on it, and obviously you can see what I put here, watch Chris. I wish it was kind of centered a little bit. It's one thing that I would say here that would be a little bit nicer if they actually were able to center this um, when it's completely screwed in because you have a screwed in case back and a screwed in crown. The case back is in stainless steel. The rest is in uh, stainless steel as well, but it's PVD coated. So the crown is coated as well. Um, I just wish it was a little bit centered. That's all. It just says 200 meters of water resistance. You get an NH35 in here. Um, the uh, rotor is not signed. So if you have a clear case back, you'll have an unsigned rotor. Um, and if you want to put a photo here, it'll cover that up or you can choose a solid case back, which is great. I think that's a great option. Uh, and I think you get 200 meters of water resistance either way, which is really good. Um, big crown on here. I'll do measurements in just a second. Sapphire crystal, which is domed. And as I mentioned, you get to choose the uh, T25 or the T100. Now, there is a difference in the dial that uh, actually houses those tritium tubes. So if you want the T100, it's a different dial. Uh, I went with this dial because I really like the texture on the dial. I like the crosshair on the dial. Um, I think it looked really good and I wanted to get a PVD coated case, uh, black PVD coated with that gray dial, uh, yellow. I think it pops really well. Um, and then I went with the black strap. So you get to choose all different color straps. You get to choose the buckle color. Uh, literally everything is customizable. The stitching, uh, I went with this black strap. It's a very thick black strap. You get quick release. I think they even gave me the option if I want a quick release. I don't remember, uh, but there you go. Uh, I really like this. It's printed really nicely. It's clear. It looks good. I didn't really give them the best quality file either. And 
and there you go because I use this for my YouTube logo and you don't really need a high quality logo for that because you really can't see it. Uh, it's just a little logo. So I gave them that and it actually worked really well. Scruting crown, you do get a ghost date position in this. Uh, I believe that's because they offer other dials with a date option. So I think that they use an NH35 that actually has a date and then they uh, remove that date when they are making uh, the dials without a date. I chose a dateless option. Uh, just because, as you guys know, I like that. So it does have a ghost state position. That's something to keep in mind, but it is an NH35, so it does hack and it does hand wind. Let's do quick measurements uh, and then I'll throw it on my wrist so you guys can see what I am talking about. So at the case, it is basically a 43 millimeter watch. So there you go, 43 millimeters. Um, and then the uh, thickness on the case is, it is actually on the thicker side, 15 millimeters thick. So 14.9 millimeters. Um, so that is thick. You do get 200 meters of water resistance. I would like to see this a hair thinner, maybe 14 millimeters thick. You do get a dome sapphire crystal. So it's including that dome sapphire crystal. You can see it's actually pretty domed. You get a very large crown, 8.3 millimeters. So a very large, very easy to operate crown. And then the lug to lug on here. Um, it's not a small watch by any means, but there you go. 51.7, so it has a very large lug to lug. Um, and the strap is actually very thick. Let me show you the thickness on this strap. So you have to like this. It is a 4.6 millimeter thick strap, which is a pretty thick strap. I think it's a 20 millimeter lug width. So you basically put any strap on here that you want. Um, this all in, I think cost $400. So it was like $406, something like that. That's including the printing that I did on the dial and of course, the, uh, the case back. Um, so that is an option and it's an extra cost, of course. And of course, I believe uh, the clear case back is extra as well. I'm not entirely sure of that, uh, but when you print it on here, that definitely is more money. Uh, I don't think they charge a lot more money for that. It was a pretty, pretty reasonable price basically to do that. So for $400, you're getting a watch that's powered by an NH35 that you've basically designed. So you've gone through um, all of their options and you've designed it yourself. And there is options here that are actually very customizable like that name on the dial and the, the photo on the back, which is awesome. Um, anyway, let me quickly throw it on my wrist and then we will do a loom shot. Obviously there is no loom here, but you get tritium tubes um, and you can see the colors of the tritium tubes that I actually chose. Very quickly, today on my wrist, I have HVD. This is hand wound vintage designs. Hand wound, it has a Salita SW210, I wanna call it. I, I always remember, I always forget the number on this movement, but you can see it from the back. Uh, just a really cool vintage inspired dive watch, 200 meters of water resistance without a screwed-in crown, um, which is very interesting. Video for that dropping very soon. And here is, it's sort of like a big pilot, 43 millimeter big pilot on my wrist. I think this looks really good. I'm really proud of the design that I made, but I'm sure a lot of people will not like this look. It's sort of a stealthy black look with uh, a little bit of color, but again, it is my own design. So of course I think it looks good, but tell me what you guys think of what I did in the comments below. What would you do different? What would you keep? Um, definitely check out their website. They have some really interesting options on there. If you're looking for a pilot's watch right now, I don't know if they're gonna offer anything else in the future. If they offered a dive watch, that would be really cool, especially if you could do some little customized options like this. Uh, I think that's really cool. Um, also, it would be awesome if you could take away the name Full Gear. I'm not entirely sure you can do that. If you can, I'll, I'll look that up and I'll put that down below as well. Um, but you could go on their website, fool around with the configurer. You don't have to buy anything. You could, you know, just look at it and try it out and see if you like what you make. Um, very quickly, loom shot. So what's great about tritium tubes is that they don't need to be charged. They will last a very long time. However, they aren't the brightest. So you can see, not extremely bright here. Uh, but you can see the options that I chose. At the 12 o'clock, you get sort of a green. So it's a 12, 9, 3, and 6. You get like a green colored uh, tritium tube and then the rest of the indices the non-primary are in a blue color then you get that sort of yellowish color on the hands which is matching the hands that's basically what I chose and then you get that blue again on the second hand which you can see is just ticking along there again the the sort of a benefit of tritium tubes is that you don't need to charge them they will last a very very long time I think 25 years or something like that 
depending on the uh, tritium tube that you have. Um, and then of course, they will never fade. So this doesn't fade over time. It will always stay this bright because you don't need to charge them with the sun or anything like that. Um, like loom will fade over time. So it will be bright and then it will fade eventually. Um, if you are in darkness, this will be consistent. It will always look this bright um, and stay this bright. That's it. Um, eventually they do degrade and you need to replace them, but you can replace them. They are replaceable. So it's actually something that you could just buy new tritium tubes, have them installed. Um, you could do it yourself. Some people have, I know, but, uh, you could definitely send it back to a manufacturer. Any, uh, pretty good, uh, watch, you know, repair shop can do it for you. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. I think these uh, look good. The uh, options that they have are really awesome. I wish it didn't have a ghost ape position, uh, of course. And of course, I would have liked the T100s, but I didn't like the dial that the T100 uh, uh, tritium tubes were in. So I went with the T25. So I wish I had the option to do the T100s in this dial. Um, that would have been a really good option. Anyway, Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the options, the uh, the option that I chose? Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click any of those links, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.